Hello, it's Keith from KMA's Corner. Welcome back to the long-awaited episode number 10. I've been super duper busy with work, Christmas, and all that goulash. And as a matter of fact, it's Monday, the week of Christmas, and I really don't have the time to record this, and I don't plan on recording the second half of this video, if there is one, depends on how much I ramble, um, until after Christmas. But I kind of wanted to give you guys an idea of what I've been up to. I haven't been able to play this game all that much recently. Um, just busy, you know. And Plus at Christmas time, you don't want to want to be playing a game. You want to be out with the family and doing family stuff. And seeing that I'm working um, about 20, 30 hours more than I normally do right now each week. The missing time goes to the family and not to you guys. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. But um, let me give you an idea of what I've done since um, the last video because I've been just tinkering around with this world. I haven't been doing my five, six hour sessions of playing Minecraft. I've only been able to squeeze a half hour in here and a half hour in there. Which is a little different than what I normally play. So I haven't been really doing big projects, but just tidying up little things. So, let me show you those little things that make the world go around the tidy and... Like, this used to be a normal pane of glass. I changed it to blue because blue is my color. You see blue? And I did one over there. Isn't that amazing? Okay, that's it for the episode. Have a great day. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm just fucking with you guys. Um, you see behind the chests, is there... I added... Um, I saw Etho do this in one of his videos this week or last week. Where he put a green... Uh, glass... And then green stained clay behind it and added some glowstone behind something. I don't know if it was chest. I don't think it was chest he was doing it with. It could have been chest. I don't know. But it, it made uh, a nice green background for his stuff. And I'm like, hey, I'm going to steal that idea and use blue because I like blue. So there you go. Behind all these chests are blue glass and blue stained clay. Yeah. And I added some chests over here because I was getting a an, an amazing amount of excess crap. And I needed excess storage. So over here in this wall, I'm going to be doing excess storage areas. And if I need it, I'll do it over here too. And over there, I don't know though. These might change into something else depending on how much dirt and netherrack I use in the future. And you may be saying to yourself, if you are a real diligent KMA's corner watcher, wait, Keith, you don't have any stained clay. Well, you know, I did the admiss thing, and I found the areas of the world that I needed products from, so I admisted and found where a mesa was, and I went and I took some red sandstone and that's why is that oh that's orange stained clay well anyways I stole some red sand some some sandstone you know I have uh, another tunnel going to it I haven't fixed it up yet and I have some I tore out part of a building a building <laughs> a mountain and got myself some stained hardened stained clay so I can Die things, certain things. Those things are certain colors. So, um, there was something else I've been working on a little bit. But before I show you that, I just wanted to go in here real quick. <laughs> I'm so unfamiliar with this world right now, I'm just kind of like confused. What's going on now? Um, because literally, I, instead of playing probably 20 hours of Minecraft a week, I've been playing like 2 or 3 hours. At the very end down there, you see there's a hole in the wall. That hole in the wall goes to the mesa, it goes to a jungle, and it goes to a mushroom biome. Mushroom biome. 
So, yes. Um, I will be getting the mushroom stuff. I will bring some mushrooms over here. I do, in one of these chests somewhere, have some stuff. I've, I've been cleaning out my inventory. Yeah. Mycelium. I got some mycelium. So I'm going to, like, make a mycelium farm somewhere so I can get incredible amounts of mycelium because I use mycelium so much backslash sarcasm but you know it's nice to have that product there when you need it um, nothing really has changed over here there's the RT due to <laughs> looking thing um, I don't know if you know, I've got this vine farm. I don't think I showed that at all because I wanted to use um, the mossy cobble. No, mossy brick. I don't like the mossy cobble, but I like the mossy brick. Um, so I got some of those going. And of course, because I went to the jungle, I'm, you know, starting to collect some brown stuff because I want to start getting all the dyes. I'm going to start a flower farm so I have infinite access to all the dyes. And I added sheep to my farm. Um, not a big deal. I got to get the numbers up a little bit because um, I want to have, you know, uh, sheep for every color. So that's why you notice you got the, the cow, the pig, and the sheep farm is a little bit bigger. I've already pre-planned pre this sheep farm to have um, 16 sections for the 16 different colored sheep so I can come over here and shear a shear a shear. Hmm, it's going to be getting dark. So before I show you the project I've been really working on back there on the other side of RT2, um, it's not even close to being done, but I just kind of wanted to give you an update so like one day when I actually do come back and start making videos on a regular basis after Christmas, um, you won't go, what the hell, you made this the biggest thing on your whole world away from a camera. That's kind of uncool. So I didn't want to like finish this building and have it come back and be like, hey, this is what I made when I was gone. Just the biggest thing on this world. I didn't want to kind of get you out. So I'm going to show you a project. Um, not a project, a update of the project. And as you can see, it's a big, bigger project. It's going to be my tree farm. I hinted at it at the, at the end of the last episode, I think, that I was going to make a tree farm. This is going to be the entrance. Um, I am not 100% sure if I like this setup yet. I am not 100% sure what I'm going to do here. But these pillars I think I'm going to keep. And here's the blue stained clay. I love using up all my lapis. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to... that. This is kind of like the entrance of the place. And when I walk in, there's going to be a storage for the different types of woods. The six different types. So I'll have oak, birch, jungle, dark wood, spruce, acacia. And just chests in this area. I don't know if I'm going to block off this whole wall area because initially I was thinking I was going to have a, um, a stained glass window here. But this whole building is going to be stained glass window, so I think I just might make this a wall. This is why I like the um, stone, mossy, and cracked stone because you infuse them all together and it kind of gives more variety to the thing that you're building. And it's weird. I don't usually play with headphones on. Oh, I am missing something there. I gotta put it down there. My inventory is a mess. I wasn't even thinking of recording five minutes ago. I'm like, I'm getting ready for work. I got a couple extra minutes. What should I do? I'll record a little bit. Yes, <laughs> that's how recording happens. There's no thought and process to this right now. I'm just, you know, winging it because um, I decided a couple of minutes ago I might as well record a couple of minutes and... Before I finish this project up and kind of confuse the hell out of all of you. Like, where did this big-ass building come from? So, this is the entrance. It's going to have the storage for the wood for the tree farm. Because this is what ultimately this is. 
I don't know if I like this centerpiece yet. We'll fix that when it comes time to do the nice little parts of the tree farm. So basically we got the four pods here for the big trees. That's why the building goes up to that height because that's 40 blocks I think and that's how big the big trees are. So you plant the tree at the end, you cut it down, there's going to be water, streams coming down here and there's going to be a collection system down here to bring tr the stuff, the leaves and whatever, the saplings and the wood to a chest, kind of like that. And over here, um, the, there's going to be pistons underneath this also. I'm going to grow the, the single wide trees here right next to each other and when they're grown, I hit a lever, water comes and pushes towards the center or wherever I can figure out the best way the water flow to go and it brings it into a hopper collection system and brings the wood and saplings to a certain place where I can pick them all up and so basically when the trees are down uh, or when this dirt is down I can just walk across and cut down all the trees and I'm going to have a, a guide on top to make sure the trees don't go higher than 9 or 13 blocks. I'll figure out what the distance is so I don't have those super massive ugly oak trees that I shouldn't say ugly. They're beautiful oak trees, but they suck to cut down. So I don't want to have a tree that sucks to cut down. I want to make it nice and easy. And um, so this will be all something. I haven't really decided it. And it's going to be kind of like a separate building than this four pod area. Because there's going to be stained glass all on the side here for the four pod area. But here I think I'm just going to enclose it in raw kind of like the front is going to end up being. So, um, oh, I almost falling in holes. Don't try to do that. So, um, no, let me show you the mechanics of this and maybe I can show you some redstone. Um, so you're like, how, how do you, what's going on here? There's water coming down. And let me get over here so I can show you a little better. There's water coming down to push the saplings and the missing logs that I get down into this chamber and there's a uh, couple hoppers there then there's a hopper not a hopper a dispenser elevator yay one of those simple things with a little clock to move things up you can make those dirt with um, item sorters too I have one I think at my gunpowder factory the sky spawner that I do um, over there about no over there about 1200 blocks I got myself completely confused it's over there near my village near my sand pit well actually I think my sand pits over there oh see I haven't been playing this world enough to remember where my stuff is so I cut down the tree there's the ground for the tree right there and um, you know everything falls off the tree and gets sucked into the water and gets put up into this chest and working on you know this stuff the pillars has had made that happen so I can go like this and it comes over and eventually it will end its way back into here which is rather cool I mean it serves a purpose it's keeps the tree farm from losing anything that you may need but you go how the hell do you plant a tree on that but that's what this is for there you go it pushes this up you plant your tree you cut down your tree when you're done you step on it again and it goes away and everything will be sucked into that so it's pretty simple um, it's just Kind of like what Whitefire was doing with his farms in his village -er area. Um, it's just a pi pistons underneath. Let me see if anything is exposed right now. Eh, a little bit is exposed. <laughs> the pressure plate is above these two blocks here. It sets this thing, goes into this little Norlotch. So it sends a pulse out of here. And what it does is, uh, uh, comparator sucks the pulse out of here, goes into this repeater and on the other side of this oh uh, should I no I shouldn't have 
stinky binky. Oh, and I don't have anything to pick that stuff up with. Hold on. Let me fix this. Ah, oh, good thing I kind of know what I'm doing here. Um, but anyways, it goes in there, and there's a a line of redstone on the other side, and each redstone passes a repeater that go goes right up against a piston, a sticky piston that pushes the um, the blocks up and makes that little walkway above the water. And right here. Oh, uh, where is it? Oh, I should never have tried to do this before thinking about it. <laughs> where is my... Is that where it's coming in from? I don't want to get rid of that block. But anyways, um, the collection area, the water is actually like right there. The collection area, there's the two uh, hoppers on the other side of this. And they go into this hopper then go into this dispenser down there. And there's this dispenser level, and this little thing right here is just a clock, so you can push the stuff up as it goes along. Um, let's see if we can um, see if it will work with. Well, let me put a whole bunch of stuff in there. Is it gonna work? I don't know if it's working. Now, oh, it is working. I thought it was going to be flashing these things off, but all it's doing is moving the, the product up from these dispensers up into the chest above this dispenser. So basically, this is a clock. It gets a signal added. That if there's something in here, this thing will be lit, and it comes out, and it uh, reverses this, and it keeps moving things up. <sighs> you know, I should never explain redstone. I'm just going to move on right now. I'm not going to explain redstone when I wasn't prepared to explain it. Because I did that redstone a couple weeks ago. And I am just... Not feeling it right now because... I totally forgot what I did there. So ignore that. But anyways, that is the update. <laughs> um... I don't, if you have any suggestions for what I should do with this building, because this building is really kind of confusing the piss out of me. Um, I can't really figure out what I want to do. I kind of want to have arches. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, come here. I'm in desperate need of you. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I know there's skeletons trying to kill me, but hey. You suck. All of you. Okay. He did not even give me an ender pearl. Jerk. I'm in desperate need of ender pearls, so sorry for that side quest. I want to get into the end. Actually, I'm going to wait for 1.9 before I go into the end. Sorry. Yes, I will be updating this world to 1.9. When that comes out, not any of the snapshots, but when it's officially released, this world will be 1.9. Yes. So, um, give me any ideas that you want here. Initially was thinking of little arches in between each one of these There's gonna be a glass dome on top kind of like this, but not as big Or not as high because the pillars only go to like 36 height and I want the thing to go to 40 Oh Another enderman side quest kill all endermen seen Come here, sir Thank you Ah. Uh. Come on. I just want these. Get. Okay. I want to get rid of something less important. I got tons of you. Okay. So I think that's going to be it for this little clip. Um, because I got to get some clothes on. To go to work. Yes, I'm in my ski. Oh. Enderman galore. Let me eat some food so I regenerate a little bit here. <clears throat> okay, where'd the other Enderman go? Look at these! Oh my gosh! Enderman! Love! Shot it! I'm a little overpowered right now, and, uh, you know, why are you all taking my, my dirt, my precious dirt, 
thank you for cleaning up the snow, but come on. Oh, really? Did I look at you? Oh, now I'm gonna have to listen to the ugly sound. Shut up. Okay. Enough. Any more Endermen? I got nine pearls right there. That's <laughs> that's almost double what I have prior. I should spend more time out here at night. You're gonna just muffle things up. Get out of there. So, um, yeah, I am apologizing for the lack of videos, but I think basically all of you understand. Um, this is hell time for post office workers, and we got a ton of packages, and I do not want to be playing with a creeper inside my RT Dutu. So I'm gonna go run away and run away and hide. So I'll be back. I'm going to do some work over the next week or so <laughs> and record the second half of this video. So this video is going to be very disjointed, but I think you'll get over it. And um, I'll talk to you later. And hopefully maybe the tree farm might be almost done or at least the redstone part done. That's one thing because I don't like playing with redstone. It's tedious and I got to pay attention to what I'm doing. And um, I don't really want to... Ah, this guy's still here. <laughs> Dang you. So, I will be back with something a little more finished than that. Appreciate you uh, dealing with my lack of videos lately. And I'm very happy that you're watching this. So, thank you very much. Hit the like button, subscribe, tell your friends, say hi to everybody. Say hey. Check out this guy, KMA's Corner. Hmm. And let me know what you think of my th new thumbnail, okay? I'll be back in a bit. Bye. Bye. I guess I should look at you when I say bye. Bye.